I'd like to begin by introducing and welcoming our special guest, Mr. Gary Rodemeyer with WHAS 11. <laughs> Ms. Cheryl Williams with LGNE KU. And our Area 1 Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Glenn Beatty. I'd also like to welcome Ms. Clem's family and friends who have joined us today and our students and staff who are celebrating our amazing teacher. Ms. Mattingly, you have certainly earned this day, so I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy every minute of it. Mr. Rodemeyer, I'm going to turn this celebration over to you. Will you please get our party started? Thank you. Well, Ms. Clem, you, you, your principal is right. That's exactly what, you, what we want you to do. We want this to be the most special day uh, that you have experienced uh, in your career as a school teacher because we come to honor you today and, uh, and also all of the great teachers at Kane Run Elementary who does such, such a fine job in, in this school. Uh, I want to tell uh, you young people just a little bit about the Excel Award because it was created way before you guys were born. It was created in the year 1989. Uh, there were a group of people that got together and decided that public school teachers do not get enough recognition. And so we decided that we were going to create a very special award called the Excel Award. We were going to present it to teachers who were very carefully screened to find the very, very best teachers in all of Jefferson County and the seven surrounding counties in the region that we call Kentuckiana. So we have been doing this for the past 27 years. And in that 27 years of observing these great teachers in the classroom, uh, we, have, we have found so many great teachers and we've created what has become a Teachers Hall of Fame. And so today, Megan joins that Hall of Fame. It is a celebration actually of great teaching. We come to honor a teacher today who all of you know teaches all of the students at Kane Run Elementary. In almost 30 years, the Excel Award has been presented to teachers of almost every description and area of concentration. And we are more than pleased to add a teacher of health and wellness to that list today for the very first time. The longtime goal of the Excel Award is to tell the world about the accomplishments of a great public school teacher. And at Kane Run, we get to tell the story of a pioneer in the Compassionate Schools program. And we will be doing a story with, uh, with Ms. Clem today, and that story will appear on our television station tonight at 540. That's the way we tell the world about what she is doing in this wonderful place. Ms. Clem teaches children how to manage their emotions and have respect for one another. Her classroom is absent of the usual desks and tables. We've just come from there. And of course, as you know, they are replaced by yoga mats. In this environment, Megan fosters academic success through self-regulation and focused attention. And the impact is felt in classes throughout the school. It is common to hear the phrase, we learned that in Ms. Clem's class. Megan, you are taking us a step beyond curriculum, creating a positive environment at Kane Run, so the school is able to maximize student achievement and teach life skills that will benefit students for years to come. Thanks for being the calming influence on your students and your fellow teachers as you help create the atmosphere where kids can learn best. I ask Megan Clem to please come forward. <laughs> Having been to her classroom this morning, I'm already calm. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to know uh, that uh, as you know, an apple for the teacher represents the, the love and affection of a student for a very special teacher in, in that student's life. But this apple represents the love and affection and respect from an entire community. Congratulations from all of us here at WHAS-TV and LG&EKU 
and you're schooled in the Jefferson County School District. You are an Excel Award winner. Congratulations. <laughs> And I love saying that this is just half of the Excel Award. The second half uh, is to be presented by our co-sponsors over these many years, the power company, lg and &E KU. Please welcome, representing lg and &E, Cheryl Williams. Cheryl. Thank you, uh, everyone, for allowing me to be here today. On behalf of the employees at lg and &E and our sister utility, Kentucky Utilities, it's my pleasure to be at Cane Run Elementary School to honor an exceptional teacher for the positive impact and the difference that she's making in her students' lives. But it's not only with her students, it's with her peers and with this community as well. Ms. Clem has made a decision to commit her life to teaching. Not only is she teaching her students the importance of the connection between mind and body, but she too is making a connection with them. She strives to build a relationship with each and every one of her students. They know she cares about them and this makes them want to do better inside and outside of the classroom. It's obvious from the letters that were written in support of Ms. Clem's application for the Excel Award that this teaching is truly her calling. Words like strength, determination, compassion, leadership, collaboration, advocate, mentor, and strategist. Those were some of the words that jumped out at me as I read through the, her application, and I was very impressed. What better qualities could you want in a teacher than those Ms. Clem exhibits? I'm extremely honored to be here this afternoon to recognize Ms. Clem for the powerful impact that she makes with her students, to help Ms. Clem further her commitment to teaching and making a positive difference in the lives of her students. I'm extremely happy to present her with a check for $1,000 on behalf of all of the employees at lg and &E KU. Congratulations, Megan Clem. You are a WHAS-TV lg and &E KU Excel Award winner. Dr. Hargens, uh, uh, the superintendent, is in uh, Frankfurt today, we understand. Uh, a lot of uh, business going on up there that's of uh, uh, interest to uh, schools and school systems across Kentucky. So representing the uh, school system today, please welcome the assistant superintendent, Dr. Glenn Beatty. Thank you, Mr. Rodemeyer. Um, like, like Mr. Rodemeyer said, uh, Dr. Hargens is, is away, and she um, asked me to come today to bring greetings. Um, on behalf of her and on behalf of the Board of Education. The Excel Award is a symbol of educational excellence, an emblem of extraordinary commitment to students, creativity in the classroom, and ingenuity in instruction. Winners of this special honor have the skills to be successful in just about any type of career. We are lucky they chose teaching. They are highly effective with their students and boost the success of their schools by striving to reach all students in order to help them meet high standards and instill in them a lifelong love of learning. JCPS is grateful to lg and &E, KU and WHAS 11 for giving us the opportunity to honor the very top teachers in our community, teachers like Ms. Clem Mattingly. As a leader in the Compassionate Schools Project at Cane Run, she is creating a positive culture, taking risks, and breaking down barriers to learning for all students. Just listen to what people who work closest to her say about her. Megan's creative teaching techniques enhance classroom learning. She fosters academic success through mindful movement, self-regulation, and physical movement. She exudes positive energy and calmness throughout the building and models what she teaches through positive interactions with her students and staff. She educates students in their ability to become self-aware while teaching strategies such as self-control, healthy eating, and social and emotional skills that will allow them to have academic and personal success. And she works with some of the school's most challenging students, giving them jobs in her classroom to provide them with a positive start to their day and foster trust and compassion. Megan not only shows compassion for her students, but for her adult co-workers as well, initiating a self-care program for staff in the morning before school. As part of the Excel Award process, a group of observers visited Ms. Clem Mattingly's classrooms 
during a Compassionate Schools Project practical living exercise. The observer said that each student was authentically engaged with the lesson. Her students could explain the connection between the daily learning target and what they were asked to do. And students were asked to share what the learning target meant to them. Even as a new staff member, Ms. Clem Mattingly has quickly become an advocate for Cane Run and the Compassionate School Project, leading presentations of the program at parent-teacher conferences and school open houses. She is eager to invite families into her room to help them know and understand what the project is about. Megan, on behalf of the Jefferson County Public School District, I want to congratulate you on winning the Excel Award. I also want to thank you for your commitment to teaching, to your school, and most of all, to your students. It is my honor to present you with the Superintendent's Medallion. And I also have the um, honor of uh, passing along greetings from District 4 board member Benjamin Geese. Uh, he is unable to attend today's recognition of Ms. Clem Mattingly due to his teaching schedule. He's a teacher also. He asked that I share his message of congratulations on his behalf. I want to thank Ms. Clem Mattingly for her truly outstanding service to our students, community, and the teaching profession. Teachers like Ms. Clem Mattingly are the backbone of Jefferson County Public Schools and we are so fortunate that she has chosen our district and our students to dedicate her remarkable talents. There is no more challenging profession than the teaching profession. In order to excel, one must have an authentic love for learning, children, and community. One must also be willing to sacrifice. Teachers sacrifice time with loved ones, weekends, and most of our evenings rest planning for the future of others. Above all else, teachers are selfless in their pursuit of the change they wish to see in the world. Ms. Clem Mattingly, you have gone above and beyond in each of the characteristics of a truly exceptional teacher. Today we celebrate you. Today we are grateful for you. And the JCPS Board of Education is humbled to call you one of our own. Congratulations. Ms. Clem, as you all know, is an outstanding teacher who exemplifies creative teaching techniques as a true pioneer for the Compassionate Schools Project. Her dedication to her craft and passion for our students make her a well-deserving recipient of this prestigious Excel Award. As Dr. Beatty said, Ms. Clem has the skills to be successful in any career, and we are lucky that she chose education, and we're especially lucky that she chose Cane Run. Her focus remains on students, and this can be seen in both her classroom and when talking to her outside of the classroom. She consistently strives to help all students reach their goals. Visiting Ms. Clem's classroom is relaxing and rewarding experience. Her creative teaching techniques enhance classroom learning. Students speak calmly as they learn through literacy and physical movement. Her name is so synonymous with calm that we had a first grade student who explained to her, Ms. Clem, we can't call you Ms. Mattingly because Clem reminds me to be calm. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mattingly. <laughs> we had a third grade student who stated he was so excited that she was receiving an award because she's so nice and she helps him stay calm. Ms. Clem Mattingly fosters academic success through mindful movement, self-regulation, and focused attention all through the lens of compassion. By creating an environment where students learn how to connect their minds and bodies, she teaches our students resiliency, stress management, and social emotional skills, as well as knowledge for overall well-being. By helping students develop self-awareness and caring for others, Ms. Clem Mattingly has increased the likelihood of students achieving academic and social emotional success. She has a can-do, never give up attitude, and she's never told me no. That's, that's kind of awesome. Her willingness to go the extra mile to serve our students and our school are unsurpassed. Ms. Clem continues to pave the way for the Compassionate Schools Project. She is humble and unassuming, and every student that has stepped in her room has received a gift. 
On behalf of our entire school, Megan, I'd like to extend our congratulations to you. Thank you for your love and commitment to our school and our students at Cane Run. We love you. I'd like to introduce Ms. Morgan Patton, a second grade teacher. Ms. Patton was one of the teachers who wrote one of the letters of recommendation for Ms. Clem, and she will be representing our colleagues this morning. Hello. It was my honor recommending Megan Mattingly for the Excel Award. Though Ms. Mattingly had only been at Kane Run for two years, she quickly became an advocate of our school while leading the Compassionate Program. She works closely with kindergarten through fifth grade to teach a program that is not only beneficial to education, but also includes essential life skills. She is educating students to become self-aware while teaching strategies such as self-control, knowledge for healthy eating, social and emotional skills, and many other skills that will allow students to have academic and personal success. Ms. Mattingly's classroom is right next door to mine. Last year, I was a first year teacher here at Cane Run, and Ms. Mattingly went over and beyond to make me feel comfortable with teaching. Like all first-year teachers, classroom management has been something that I struggled with. Ms. Mattingly used her own money to buy me a book of strategies so I could practice them within her classroom. She also took initiative and assisted me with certain students by allowing them to use her classroom as a cool-down area. She even came into school early voluntarily to assist me with making phone calls home and giving me ideas on how to talk to parents when dealing with behavior issues. I was invited into her classroom while she was instructing so I can learn some different calming strategies. She is a very welcoming person who will always give her time in her day to help anyone. Other colleagues have mentioned that Ms. Mattingly has a very positive and calming personality and presence. Teachers at Kane Run believe this encourages fellow teachers to be the same with their students. She has taught us that if we speak negatively to our students, we are mimicking the behaviors that we do not want to see. Instead, if we speak positively and kindly to our students, we can achieve the core ideas of a compassionate school. Another colleague has mentioned it is easy to learn from Ms. Mattingly because she doesn't get upset easily or overreact. She has taught PDs that directly impact the Compassion Program. Almost every teacher agrees that Ms. Mattingly has taught us how to stay calm and compassionate with our students and she embodies that every day. Not only is Ms. Mattingly an amazing colleague, but she treats students with the utmost respect. With her program, she has very limited free time throughout the day. She uses this free time to reach the students who have been the hardest to reach. In the morning, she allows students to come in her room to help regulate themselves in a calm manner while helping set up her room for the day. While most teachers may retreat to the peace and quiet of the teacher's lounge or their classroom for lunch, Ms. Mattingly uses her short break to sit and talk with different groups of students in the cafeteria each day. At the end of the day, she stays after school talking to students who have parents that were late to pick them up and working with students waiting for the bus. She even plays with students on the playground. She is the type of person that can name every student in the school and one positive thing about them. She always puts the needs of students first before the needs of anything else. One fifth grade student had some very kind words to say about Ms. Mattingly. He stated that she listens to everyone because she knows that every student needs compassion. Ms. Mattingly also treats everyone equally and makes them feel loved. He continued to say that some of his favorite things to do in her class our mindful movement and respect games. So far in class, he has learned self-control, self-regulation, and compassion. Another student in second grade mentioned that Ms. Mattingly has taught him to slow down and be aware. At the end of class, students are able to self-reflect by lying on the mats very still, even though it can be very hard sometimes. Even our youngest students have noticed how Ms. Mattingly has demonstrated compassion in our school. Kindergartners like how she calls on them, tells great stories, picks them to help her with activities, chooses everyone in the classroom, and how she lets them know how they are important by giving them hugs and saying that she loves them. But oh, most of all, Ms. Mattingly, the kindergartners really want you to know that you are very beautiful and very pretty. <laughs> Ms. Mattingly always walks around the school with a smile on her face. Though it was no easy task being one of the first compassionate school project leaders, Ms. Mattingly fully embraced the role while doing interviews, participating in videotapings, and allowing visits from a multitude of members of the community, including the mayor. She always contains a positive and calm manner, even in the worst of situations. She is someone who will support any staff, help any student, and participate in any event. She truly embodies what it means to be compassionate. I cannot think of any other staff member who is more deserving of this award.
in front of him. Finally, representing our student body, we have fifth grade student Nevea Jewell. <laughs> you just leave it down there for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> to be the person representing the student voice at Kane Run. Ms. Clem is very deserving of the Excel Award. She is an excellent teacher who respects students and her fellow staff. She is strict but not mean about it. She has high expectations, but if students aren't following her expectations, she will work with them to get them to succeed in a nice and understanding way. Ms. Clem tries hard to understand students' perspectives of situations and she is not afraid to apologize when she makes a mistake. She never jumps to a conclusion without hearing the student's side. She is very respectful and a person who I know I can go to when I need someone to talk to. Ms. Klim's classroom is very calming. She tries hard to make students feel safe and comfortable. She expects respect in her classroom but she is flexible and allows student choice. For example, as long as you're in your own era, area, respecting her and the other students, you can sit however you want. When we do mindful eating, she encourages us to try the food, but she does not make us eat it all if we do not like it. Ms. Klim has taught the students at Cane Run to stop and think before we jump to a conclusion or take a sudden, act, sudden and maybe inappropriate action. We have learned that when we are upset, we can calm ourselves down if we just stop and breathe and think about the other point, person's point of view. She has taught us how to focus on our learning and to block out distractions. Ms. Clem has helped the students at Kane Run to be mindful of their own actions and how their actions affect others. In other words, she has taught us how to self-regulate. Because of the skills Ms. Clem has taught us, Kane Run students have an opportunity to learn in a more compassionate environment. Thank you. And this is from the students that can run. Oh. Oh, I've got to show it. Oh, how neat. Color Me Mindful Seasons. I love it. That's beautiful. <laughs> Whew, I have to follow Nevea. Nevea is a very good speech giver. I've, I've heard a couple of her speeches, so I'm up against somebody who is pretty powerful in their speeches. <laughs> um, and I also said I was not going to cry during my speech, but then I ended up crying during other people's speeches. So I'm going to try to hold it together. So I'm going to take in some deep breaths. Okay. I would like to begin by thanking Gary Rodemeyer and WHAS, as well as Cheryl Williams and lg and EKU for honoring me with this award and for their continued dedication to shining a spotlight on the positive things happening in education today. I would like to thank Dr. Beatty for being here today and representing our JCPS district. I am overwhelmed by the kind words from Ms. Patton, Nevea, and Mrs. Coslow. Thank you all for the time and preparation that went into making this day special for me. In preparation for this speech, and mainly because I was nervous, and am nervous, <laughs> I watched several YouTube videos of former Excel winners giving their speeches. Most of these teachers shared their stories about how much they loved school growing up, and how they always knew that they wanted to become a teacher. My story is much different from theirs. <laughs> I wasn't exactly a model student. In fact, I was a student that you could often find out in the hallway for disrupting my class. You see, I was diagnosed with dyslexia and struggled to learn how to read like the other students in my class. I thought that if I could pull everyone's attention towards my jokes and distracting behaviors, then maybe they wouldn't notice that I was different. I can remember graduating high school and thinking, I will never step foot in another school again. <laughs> But then I realized that all of my best friends were going to college. And if there's one motivator for a class clown, it's their friends. 
So I decided to give college a try. It was in college that I realized my true potential, mainly because if you didn't do well in college, they didn't put you in the hallway, they sent you home. <laughs> I loved college and realized that if I wanted to stay, I had to stop labeling myself as learning disabled and to start embracing my learning differences. I was on the path to becoming a television sports director like my father when I took a summer job teaching nature at a 4-H camp. It was here that my passion for teaching began to grow. And no matter how much I tried to fight the idea of a lifelong career that would lead me back into a school, by the second summer I was hooked. I changed my major, graduated with an elementary education degree, and became a kindergarten teacher. Here I was, a new teacher in the first year of my new career. I was being observed for the first time by my principal, and I was terrified. <laughs> Um, the stress of being over observed for the first time caused all of my self-doubt that I carried with me during my childhood to come flooding back. During my observation, I was teaching my students how to draw a lowercase letter A. My nerves got the best of me, and I panicked. I suddenly couldn't remember which side of the circle to draw the stick of the letter A. I stood there, silent, with my back turned to my class and my principal for what seemed like an eternity. Finally, my brain snapped too, and I remembered that there was an alphabet chart right above my head. I quickly glanced up and found the answer my nervous brain prevented me from formulating. That night, I called home in tears. I told my parents, Sorry. everybody breathe with me. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Back on track. Sorry. Oh, I told my parents that I had to quit teaching immediately. I told them that I was going to teach these children the wrong answers and that I couldn't live with that. So sorry. <laughs> this is good you. You told me not to cry. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. And I couldn't live with that. But in a manner of words, my parents reminded me that, first of all, I'm not a quitter. And then they asked me if I could recognize the students in my class that struggled to learn in the same ways that I did. And I could. I know. <laughs> Just get on with it, Ms. Ben. And so they told me to turn around and admit when I didn't know the answer, to let those students know that they were not alone, that they were all human, just like me, that it, that it is OK to acknowledge your mistakes and challenges and to embrace them, not hide from them. This was my first lesson in becoming a good teacher, and this is the foundation I built my classroom on. I was open with all of my students about my struggles, and in doing so, I modeled that hard work and dedication are the true building blocks to success. I share this story with my students and with you because I believe it is often in our most vulnerable moments that we become our true selves. And so I would like to share with you that when I learned I was an Excel Award nominee, I took pause. Am I a good enough teacher to receive this award? What if I mess up? What if I make mistakes? In our curriculum, we learned to identify our emotions, and the emotion I felt in that moment was fear. Once I realized it was fear holding me back from accepting this amazing award, I was able to calm myself, to breathe, until I found my answer, which I will admit did not come until a few days ago. The answer is yes. Yes, I'm going to make mistakes. And yes, I am good enough to receive this award. <laughs> Just like all of the students sitting in my classroom over the years, they embrace their mistakes and learn from them. And this is what makes them great students. I am not a perfect teacher, but I'm a teacher dedicated to being my best self. And that is what makes me good enough. <laughs> It is often said that it takes a village to raise a child. I believe it also takes a village to make a good teacher. I would not be standing up here without the village of amazing people who have shaped and molded me into the teacher that I am today. It started with my family that I was raised in. My parents taught us that kindness, compassion for others, and helping those in need are the pillars of a good person. My parents and my sisters are my support group, my biggest cheerleaders, and a constant source of unconditional love. I am eternally grateful and thank them from the bottom of my heart. Recently, my family village grew. I became a wife to my husband, James, and a mother to my son, Miles, and stepson, Blake. 
I want to thank my husband and our children for creating a home that is also my refuge, a refuge filled with love and laughter. Teaching is a highly emotional job. Uh, there are highs and lows all day, every day. There is no way to leave those emotions at school. They often follow you home. My husband creates the, I'm sorry, my husband celebrates the achievements that are made in my classroom with me and gives me a shoulder to cry on through the struggles. He is my rock, and for that I thank him. It takes a village of amazing teachers to learn from if one strives to be a good teacher themselves. I have been so privileged to work with some of the best. When I first started teaching at Blelick Elementary, I met Jack Jacobs. He began as a colleague of mine and soon became an unofficial mentor. I learned so much by watching his passion for teaching and found his dedication to making positive change inspiring. He taught me, to work, he taught me that hard work, determination, and standing up for what is right can make significant gains in a school's achievement. Soon our professional relationship grew into a friendship, a lifelong friendship that I am so blessed to have in my life. Amy Ullman has been a source of inspiration for me throughout my career. I was fortunate to work under Ms. Ullman as my assistant principal at Blue Lake. She is a true example of servant leadership. Ms. Ullman is the example of an educator whose heart and soul are in it for the right reasons, the children. I will cherish the lessons that I have learned from her, and she is truly a mentor of mine. It also takes a village of people to help you become brave, to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone, and in my case, into something life-changing. Carrie Rogers came to me when she began work with the Compassionate Schools Project. She said that when she read the curriculum, she immediately thought of me. When I read the curriculum, I could see why. But to teach this curriculum, I would have to step out of the unknown. I would have to leave the school that I considered to be my home. Carrie listened to my internal struggles and supported me through my decision to ultimately leave Blue Lick and set forth on a new adventure. I then met Dr. Alexis Harris, the head of the Compassionate Schools Project here in Louisville. Our meeting was kismet. She would be the vessel who allowed me to become a part of the Compassionate Schools Project. I believe this to be more than a project. I believe this to be a movement. And being a part of this movement has been the biggest honor of my career yet. I had always been passionate about teaching my students social emotional skills. There was such a deficit in this area for our students. However, I often found that the demands of being a classroom teacher pushed those needs to the back. Not only do I know, I'm sorry, not only do now I get to teach what I am passionate about all day, every day, but beyond that, I feel this curriculum is so intelligently written that it truly has the potential to, to change the trajectory of the lives of our students. And there is no greater feeling for a teacher than to be a part of something so profound. Which then leads me to my village of teachers here at Kane Run. The teachers here have accepted me and the Compassionate Schools Project with open arms. They want to learn more. They are hungry for ways to help our students succeed. And I am grateful for their dedication to our students here at Kane Run. I'm almost done, I promise you guys, they've been sitting for a while. Every village needs great leaders, and I must thank the leaders of mine. First, I would like to thank our superintendent, Donna Hargens. Dr. Hargens welcomes the ideas of the people working in our school system. Recently, I had the honor of sitting in a small forum with Dr. Hargens to share ideas of how to make her vision for JCPS become more than a vision by the year 2020. She is invested in listening to the experts tell her why, or tell her ways that we can improve, and she acknowledges the that the experts work right here in JCPS, in our classrooms, our cafeterias, our buildings, and, in our, and on our buses. Dr. Hargens has made JCPS a school district that I am proud to be a part of. Principal Kim Coslow came to Kane Run with a fire lit under her to make this school the best. When you watch a good leader in their element, it is truly inspiring. Is it right for our students? This is the question that guides her every decision. I believe this is why she is so dedicated to keeping the Compassionate Schools Project alive at Kane Run. She sees the relevance of this curriculum. She sees the difference that it is already making in our students, and her unwavering support is changing the face of our school into a more compassionate place to learn. Thank you so much, Ms. Coslow, for all that you do for our school and for our staff, for our students and our staff. Joining Mrs. Coslow in her quest to making Kane Run the best school ever is our assistant principal, Ms. Phillips. I am grateful for the qualities Ms. Phillips brings to Kane Run. Her sense of humor and honesty are refreshing and make our school a more positive place to work in and to learn. And last but certainly not, and I'm going to try really hard not to cry this part, but, and last but certainly not least are my students. You all are the reason for my village. You are the reason I get to do what I love every day. There goes that. I tried. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll be
although I am supposed to be the one teaching you all about empathy and compassion, you've taught me more about these subjects than you'll ever know. There is not a day that goes by that I don't see glaring moments of compassion shining through you. And yes, we do have challenges here at Cane Run, but as my parents taught me, that is okay. It is in those challenging moments that we will grow. We will all learn together to become more loving towards each other, to be empathetic towards our fellow peers, and ultimately make this world a more compassionate one to live in. I often tell you all that the work we do in our class isn't always easy, and it's not, but it's important work. You all are our future. You are already shaping this world into a more mindful and compassionate one. I want to thank each and every one of you for the relationships we've built, for stretching me as a teacher, and for showing me new things every day. So as you can see, my village is made up of many, and there are so many that I didn't have time to thank. I do not stand up here alone. I stand as a part of a village that is striving every day to make this world better. And it is on behalf of this village that I'm honored to accept all of these wonderful awards. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Clem. You should never apologize for letting your passion show through. That is part of who you are and what makes you so fabulous. Thank you. Thank you again to all our special guests. Thank you, family and friends. Thank you, staff, for everything you do to support our students. Students, thank you for everything you do to love us and to help us love you. At this time, we will be dismissing our students. Congratulations again, Ms. Clem, on your prestigious award. <laughs> students, before you go, can you let everyone hear you roar? <laughs> Thank you. Please look to your teachers. <laughs>